Hello, Secretary Admirers. Today we have something special planned for you guys. We are going to be reforming the Empire of Utramer, which is also known as the Crusader States, formed by four Catholic realms in the Middle East that lasted from 1098 to 1291 AD. As for our starting location, we are going to be playing as the Duke of Kapua. So you might be wondering, hey Jugo, you are going to form the Empire of Utramer, correct? which is somewhere here in the Middle East. But you're all the way here in Sicily. So how could you possibly create the Empire of Utramer, I hear you ask. Well, buckle up people, because we are going on Crusades. Yeah, that's right. The game has a mechanic where if you win a Crusade with the highest contribution, you can play as your beneficiary, which is exactly what we have planned on doing today. So we are playing on the 1066 start date, because the Crusades, it's triggered for Christianity around 1180. So the very first thing to do as a good Christian is to go out on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. When you find your covers running low because of all those travel expenses, you then ask Daddy, I mean the Pope, to lend you some of his money. Okay, so it seems we have triggered the event which would now let us build a glass monument in our capital. And if we head over to the decision tab, we can see that for some gold and prestige, we can create the glass monument. But it also requires us to be at the distinguished level of fame. So we firstly divorce our wife and then marry this girl, which would give us 600 prestige. And we only need 400 to level up to distinguished level of fame. As you can see, we now have all the requirements to build the glass monument. And so we are going to build the monument. And here it is giving us some great bonuses for just 100 gold and some prestige. So we now have access to crusades and if you take a look we have conquered some lands and are now a subject of the pope himself here it is guys the crusade for jerusalem take a look at all those alliances they have we are going to choose our cousin robert as our beneficiary for this crusade okay so here we go guys the crusade has finally begun our game plan for this crusade is simple we just avoid fighting and try to seize their land Seems the other are headed towards the northern side of the empire, so we will head towards the south and start seizing. This is exactly why we don't follow our allies during crusades. These guys are getting some sticks today from the Pope. Unfortunately, we got caught by their armies. I didn't expect they would have such movement speeds. Anyways, we currently have the most contribution in the crusade, so after our army finish replenishing, we can start seizing all over again. Now, I don't know how, but we suddenly got 100% war score and won the crusade. And because we had the most contribution to the war score, our cousin, Robert, is now crowned king of Jerusalem. And now we can play as him. Now, the first thing we are going to do as the new king is consolidate as much power as possible. And that means there are going to be many title revocations and tyranny wars. So for us to stay alive and not get eaten by our neighbors, we'll need to make sure that our lands are well stacked with buildings. Now, firstly, we really want to be our cultural head. So to do that, we need to diverge our culture. We'll choose the bureaucratic ethos and would you look at that, Egypt just declared war on us. They have around 9,000 troops along with their allies, but I think we'll be just fine. We have some special soldiers from winning the crusade, as well as have an only order that we can call if we really need to. They have started approaching, so I'll raise my army. It seems the AI thinks we will lose even though we have more troops and the defender's advantage, but we will not risk it and recruit the Holy Order. Seems like we will catch them and yeah, look at those battle rolls, we will definitely win. And so with that massive victory, we'll head down and see some of their lands and with their capital down and another ticking war score. We win the war and look at that, they will pay us nearly 400 gold. So something I just found out, we can repeatedly marry and divorce our wives to get unlimited prestige or at least until we have enough piety to request the divorce. So here, if we marry this woman, it will give us 600 prestige. And right after we marry her, if we divorce her and then marry another woman, we will get additional prestige and we can repeat this until we have enough prestige to, you guessed it, establish by the sword tradition. So now that we have enough prestige, we can establish the by the sword tradition, which is going to take five years to complete, after which we can declare holy wars for kingdom titles much easily and for as many times as we want in a single lifetime. 
Now, after establishing the by the sword tradition, I think it is time that we give Egypt a taste of their own medicine by declaring a holy war for the kingdom of Arabia. They seem to be much weaker than before, so we caught their armies trying to seize our lands, and just like before, we have huge battle rules, which led to us winning the battle easily. We then head over seizing the territory of Arabia. Egypt tried to re-seize our lands, but we caught them and completely destroyed them. We just now have 100% war score, and with that, we have now taken the kingdom of Arabia from Egypt. After granting lands and creating Dutch titles, we now have somewhat of a stable realm. Well, it seems our neighbor cannot stand our Catholic realm flourishing, so he has decided to declare a holy war, but if you have enough piety and the Pope on your side, nothing can stop you. He out them and managed to capture his son, which led to an easy war victory for us, and why not just return the favor to him by declaring a holy war for his entire kingdom of Mesopotamia. We again out them and managed to capture their heir, and with that, I think the poor guy is regretting his poor life choices. <laughs> Anyways, I'd like to end this video here. On our next video, we will complete annexing the border of Utromer Empire. And if you guys are still watching right now, I'd like to thank you all for all the support you guys have been giving me recently. It's truly amazing. We have just crossed 100 subscribers, and if I'm honest, Reading your guys' comment and interacting with you is truly something I enjoy a lot. Anyways, with all that said guys, please enjoy your day or night or whenever it is that you watch this video. Bye bye.